Hello, I'm Matt from Practical BI and welcome to this uh, quick tip video on measures tables in Power BI. So before I dive into to, uh, showing you how to create a measures table, um, I thought we'd first just look at uh, what a measures table is and then also why you might want to use one. So I've got a, a couple of tables in my data set in my report so far in my, in my data model. I've got a, a KPIs table and I've got a fruit sales table. What you can see is that I've got quite a few measures already defined in here. Um, but if you imagine this expanded out, let's say I had another three or four data sets, it might become tricky for a user to know exactly where they want to, to, to go to find particular measures um, when they add them into the report. Let's say uh, someone else in the team I'm working in uh, wants to continue development on the dashboard. Um, it, it, it's not as well organized as it could be. So obviously you could use the, the search t the search field um, up here, um, but there is another way of organizing your measures and that's that's in a measures table. Um, so the measures table is purely a table that contains only measures and, and no columns of data. Um, so let's let's go ahead and have a look at, uh, at how we create one. So at the moment, the, the, there are, as, as often is the way with Power BI, a few ways of, of creating a measures table. But the, the way that I tend to use and the way that works best at the moment um, is just to go to enter data at the top up here. And we're just going to create um, uh, an empty table effectively. Let's call this our measures table. Um, and we can just leave everything as is. We've got one column with, with one cell, nothing in it. That's fine. I'm just going to click load there. Once that's loaded in, uh, we'll just see the table appear in the top right hand corner with our uh, single column listed in there. OK, so there it is. So nothing particularly exciting about that at the moment. Let's start to move some of our measures into that table. So I'm going to go to fruit sales. I'm going to select this first measure that I've got here, the if measure. I'm going to uh, go over to the home table for this measure. And I'm going to change that to measures table. Now, as soon as I've got one measure in this table, I can delete this column one. I no longer need that. So I'm just going to remove that. Click delete there. And let's just move in one or two of the other measures that I've got here into my measures table. And I could go on and do the same for the measures in my KPI table. Um, now, this is... Uh, the first time you add this measures table in, you'll see it just appears as a normal data table, um, even though I've only got measures in it in it here. Um, now, what you'll notice is um, in a second, I'll close Power BI and, and reopen the same file. Um, and you'll notice that the icon changes um, to represent a measures table and also that the table will be at the top of my, my uh, fields list now. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. OK, so I've reopened Power BI. Um, gone into the same report and you can see now that my measures table is at the top of the list and I've got a, a little uh, measures icon there to indicate that it's a measures table. Um, so that's it. Just a couple of other things to add with regards to measures tables. Um, you may uh, want to be aware of, of some of the disadvantages of using a measures table um, and one in particular is that it can affect the performance of the uh, Q&A um, Power BI visual. Uh, because part of the functionality for that visual is to look in the uh, in the host tables where the measures are located, um, so it could impact performance on on that Q and A um, uh, Q and A visual. Um, there, there are also alternatives. Again, I, I could look at creating subfolders within my tables to to store measures in, um, to, to to try and uh, organise them in a better way within my individual tables. Um, but I, I particularly like this, this measures table approach. And if you do end up with too many measures, you can always um, have multiple measures tables um, and categorize your measures uh, accordingly, if, if that's easier. OK, thanks again for, for watching. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, comments or concerns, please uh, do add them to the comments underneath this video. Thanks very much.